Today, the death toll from Hurricane Helene is now 177 people. As search and rescue efforts continue, President Biden and Kamala Harris visit southern states this afternoon to assess the damage, as ABC's Christian Cordero explains. Today, President Biden takes a look over western North Carolina firsthand, a bird's eye view of what Helene left behind. We're going down to see what the damage done. I'm going to be going back again to other states. These are very difficult times. And in a moment of crisis, I think that really does bring out the best of who we are. And you each epitomize that important and good works. Vice President Harris in Augusta, Georgia, where swaths of people have no power, no running water, and in some cases, nowhere else to go. We hadn't even been able to get out of our driveway. Our car is blocked in behind the tree. And it, it has been, we run around, we got coolers, we filled them with water, and that's what we use them for our water. 6,300 National Guard troops are on the ground across the region as volunteers work with officials around the clock to deliver food, resources, and a sense of community. We appreciate the people that have came out to the city to help out. And I don't know what we'll, we'll be without y'all. With roads cut off and people still unaccounted for, search and rescue efforts are growing more dire. Rod and Kim Ashby's daughter tells ABC News her parents were in their home as it floated down the river. We know that a neighbor saw the house actually hit the bridge, and at that point, the house started to collapse. Rod was rescued Tuesday night. Kim is still missing. Biden is scheduled to visit Georgia and Florida tomorrow. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington.